Just logs off and you log on. Nice. We just we literally just got here like two minutes ago. My legs are on fire from sitting in the car for hours. Alright, new racks. Let's see what they got on the new racks. Right off the bat, a little cricket hit. Miami Thrift, yeah, we just got here. We literally just pulled in. My legs are so wobbly right now from freaking sitting in the uh, sitting in the car for so long. Hold on, let me go through these new racks. This looks quality. What brand are you? Why can't I see a brand? Hold on. We're in Miami, baby. Hold on, I gotta flip you guys. What's up, everybody? I'm driving here for a second. back to me let's get everybody welcome in if you're new here at the follow button we are in miami we're thrifting in miami first time ever to this red white and blue so it should be fun the layout's kind of uh, awkward and they have different they don't have like 50 percent off like four colors they have 50 percent off two colors and 25 percent off two other colors so i'll probably end up forgetting like multiple times what's half off but that's okay what should we do first? Should we do jeans? I want to do jackets first. I'm going to do jackets. You're out of the house? I am out of the house. She let me out of the house. She said, you're allowed to out just today. That's it. Spanish music rocking right now. Leather jackets. Joseph A's. Miami with that music, yep. You already know. Prices don't seem too bad so far. We are in the leather jacket, so obviously these are going to be priced up a little bit. All right, let's go to the jeans. Let's see some Patagucci puffers. I am late, so I don't know if we're going to find Patagucci this late in the day. I hope so, but uh, we are pretty late. It's one o'clock already, so I'm sure this place has already been hit multiple times by multiple resellers. I shouldn't be sourcing the jackets first, but oh well. So I said I got my first pair of Lululemon yesterday. Let's go. Lululemon. $1.99. Let's go. I think this is the brand new store that just opened. Spider. Spider for $7.99. I don't know if red tags are half off. I don't think they are. I'll throw it in the cart for now. Oops. So 
Zara. Are we in Miami? We are. We just got here. We literally just pulled in a couple minutes ago. It's 10 bucks. Pretty sure red tags are the only tag that doesn't have a discount. Oh, sorry. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Bunch of Nike. It's a Nike SB hoodie. Size XL too. All right, I gotta remember what tags are half off. I think green's half off. Five dollar Nike hoodie. I'm gonna do a surf's up method on that one. It's always cold somewhere exactly. Down to the end, we'll make our way back this way. This layout, this layout is definitely different. Definitely different. Kayla's hitting the uh, other section. I don't know if she's going live though. She's pretty, she's pretty wiped from the uh, from the ride over, so she might not be going live right now. Hopefully, the connection's good too. 50 year in Washington. I was sweating in the car with the AC running on the way here today. The sun was just beaming through the window. I was literally sweating in the car with AC. Appreciate you guys hopping in. If you're new here, hit the follow button. If you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, this is going to be um, put on YouTube maybe tonight. If I can get some connection at the uh, hotel, I might upload this to YouTube. So um, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button. If any questions, you can drop in the chat. i got a whole bunch of people in the chat right now that will probably be able to answer your questions. And I'll try to look at a couple every now and then too. But this is a new store to me. I'm from Tampa Bay, and we are in Miami right now. Hanging out in Miami. I thought that said the other D word. How far is it from your place? It took us four hours to drive here, but to be honest, I could have made it easier. I accidentally hit the no toll button on my iPhone, and uh, I could have probably got here about 30 minutes earlier. If I would have noticed that we were like, why aren't we going over the Skyway Bridge? I'm like, oh, wait, I forgot to hit the take off the no toll button. So it took us like four hours. Not too bad, though. Can I see the Texas Longhorn? Uh, I'm not going to go back. If I wasn't going to pick it up to resell it, I'm not going to pick it up right now because we have minimal space because we're gonna be hitting a couple thrifts here so um, i don't want to take too much and that's something i probably wouldn't pick up i don't normally pick up a lot of sports team stuff because they tend to sit especially um college gear right now because you know ncaa isn't uh there's no football going on right now surprised i haven't hit any more jackets yet it's kind of slow kind of slow for the jackets To get a cricket polo so far that was good i think so that's where we're at i'm not sure it's the brand new one i think this is the brand new one so whatever that whatever county or place that is i just threw it in my gps and we got here i really don't even know where the hell i am right now orvis for 7.99 green i think is half off so i'll probably pick up this orvis keep it for next season because it's only four bucks four dollar orvis it is one of the not so great Orvis pieces, but it uh, still is a pickup. It was a Carl Banks New York Rangers. I think this is going to be four bucks too. Even at twenty-five percent off, this would still be a pickup because this would only be six bucks. Um, has some wear on it though. I'll leave it. It's got a little bit too much wear for me. Are they brand new? It's more expensive. Yeah, NHL. Yeah, they got a bunch of NHL stuff here. NHL and NFL. It's like kind of mid-season where that stuff wouldn't sell. There's another Nike Air. Their Nike stuff isn't that priced up actually, which is pretty crazy because my store prices up this kind of stuff. It's a size small though. We'll leave it. Appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. If you're not following, hit that follow button. Hopefully the live is coming in nice and clear. I've never been in this store, so uh, it might go in and out. If it does, I can't control it unfortunately. But it looks like so far so good. I do have like pretty much full connection in here, so it's pretty good. So North Face. This is a men's North. Oh, this is a women's XL North Face. I might pick that up for what not. It's only eight bucks. Red tags are like the only tag I think that are not half off. 
Yellow tags are half off, blue are half off. Yellow, blue is half off. Um, green is 25% and um, that's it. I think white are 25% too. So everything but red has a discount today. That's weird, they don't do a 75% off day. Our store has 75% off. Pass the Gray Supreme, I did not stop it. Um, this store doesn't even have a 75% off color. That's kind of weird. Where'd you end up going again? We're, we're in Miami. Miami. There's another North Face. This is another women's North Face. It's eight bucks for a women's hoodie. Probably still pick that up. Throw that in the uh, list next year pile. Just think there's three of these stores in this area. Three of them. <clears throat> I don't think we're, we might not even be, be able to go to another one today. Ooh, I see something nice. Boom. $14.99 though. So this is uh, probably gonna be, oh, $14.99, that's kind of expensive. It's a good Polo Ralph Lauren. It's an older one. It's got the liner on the inside. It's got the front hit. Yeah, too much for that. Damn, that sucks. That would have been a good pickup too. Damn you. Kind of, those are just regular hoodies. Uh, any value in the Fog brand? I don't really pick up Fog. London Fog, you mean? No. Fog, just regular Fog too, that's kind of junky. It's like, like a Fuji sweater. Not sure, no, it's kind of too small of a size. If that was like 10 or lower, I'd probably pick it up. It's another $15 one. It's an older one, but a little too expensive. If you guys are in the Miami area, you should come next week and scoop that because that would be a pickup. Imagine I imagine I find a Kuji here, just chilling. Make the whole trip worth it. Find a find a Kuji. Um, Old Navy. So after this, we're gonna go to the. Um, so older Nautica. After this, we'll go to the jeans section, see how the jeans are doing. Um, holy tax on garbage. Yeah, it's a bunch of crap here, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll find some good stuff. This is red, white, and blue. We find good stuff at red, white, and blue almost every time we go. I already found a cricket polo. If you don't know that brand, get familiar with it. Those sell really fast. And we only paid, I think, four bucks for it. I was on a new rack. I got a Make sure I check out the new racks like this is too much. It's a $99, but this Lucky brand is not going to sell for that. Lucky's not that good. They see new tags and their eyes open and they just price it high. It's not another one. Oh no, that's an and denim. New tag and denim. Any resellers camp in there? Uh, the new racks? No. They had new racks, they just uh, they just unloaded them. But I don't see anybody like chilling. We're kind of here late in the day, so I don't really expect to be a ton of people here. Most of the resellers probably came early this morning. Tomorrow morning we might go to one first thing in the morning. There's a large, tall, it's too basic though. Good size on that one, but too basic and too much. It's 25% off, I think. see anything else i think we already went through this portion saucony no we didn't go through this yet i didn't see that giants gear oh disgusting cubs gear disgusting there's another north face this one's too expensive though it's 13 bucks it's a good one but too expensive I think it's time to go through the jeans. Hang on, I don't think I went through this. I always don't, I don't want to miss out on anything. I don't want to be like, oh, let me pass and then I miss a, you know, $100 item just chilling here. Send for all mankind, denim jacket. That's probably gonna be a pass though. So 
booth. All right, I think the jackets are pretty much done. We'll come back and do this side in a minute. Time to do some jeans. The only thing I don't like about the store is they have everything set up opposite way that my, my store does, so my arm is starting to hurt already. I'm not used to this arm getting a workout. What do you got here? A pair of True Religions for 80 bucks. Yikes. These are good, but not for 80. 80 is a little too much for those. I already saw some seven for all mankind sneaking in here somewhere. Where were they? I just saw them. There they are. <clears throat> a pair of seven for all mankind Austins. These will be, I think, half off. I think green's half off. Green's something. Green's 25% off, so um, I'll think about this. I'll throw it in the cart for now. It's a good size, a good style. This is probably one of my favorite sections of the store is jeans because you can make a ton of money on jeans. Raising the prices, they know the game. Eh, sometimes they, they raise price on some things, but then other things they don't. So this store is a little bit higher than my store for sure. But we are in Miami, so kind of expect that in Miami. Like those seven for all mankind jeans would be ten bucks at my store. It's thirteen here, fourteen here. There's a ton of stuff here though. It's gonna take me forever to go through the store. And I did leave my charger out in the car, so I'm gonna have to go grab it. Give Kayla my cart and go grab my charger. I'm trying to show you guys the labels, but I'm not used to doing it this way. I'm used to doing it the other way. It's the music for me? Oh yeah, you know exactly where I'm in based off the music. At least I don't think I'll get demonetized with this music on YouTube. It'd be pretty hard to demonetize this kind of music. It's too bad. These are 25% off, so those would be, would that be uh, 60 bucks? 60 bucks a little bit too high. I might pay 40 for those, because these probably would sell for like 100. But at 60, it's too much. Too much. There's a pair of Rickies. Too much for those too. One brand they price up here looks like True Religions. A pair of standards. It's 15 though. Pass on those. There's another pair of trues. Pass. Pick up Mavi jeans. I love picking up Mavi jeans. They sell really fast too. So yeah, if they're the right price, I'll pick them up. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Good. Good they didn't fall. If they fall now, it's not my fault. Buffalo. Corp and wheat. I never heard that brand before. Never ever heard of that brand. Diamond Gasset, made in USA. Is that a good brand? These are flannel lined. I have to look those up. Somebody look those up for me. Diamond, guess it, made in USA. Flannel line too. I'm assuming those are decent because they're made in USA. Normally made in USA is a good good sign that they're, uh, they're a good pickup. Men's Hudson's, too much money though. Too much. A full price. They're just all right. What do comps look like? With a flannel line one. Make sure you put in flannel line when you look them up. Because that will be a little bit different.
159 listed, 89 sold, but what's the what's the resell? How much should uh good pair of Levi's PG's good brand motorcycle jeans? Good boss. So between 30 and 50 on Poshmark. They're 30 and 50, I'll pick them up. Because they're only they would be 25% off that price. That's not too bad. Another pair of sevens coming up. These are the um, better style, but those are too much. Fidelity jeans are too much. And they are definitely pricing up in Miami. I feel bad for you Miami thrifters. A pair of diesel men's jeans, really good brand, but these are too much, they're 20 bucks. Sold $29.99 on eBay. They're $29.99 plus ship, I'll pick them up. That's worth it. I'll do, a, I'll do a comp at the end. New diesel jeans, or axle jeans. Um, yellow, if yellow's 50, no, I just leave them. I wonder how Kayla's doing right now. She's probably... Any South Pole jeans? I have, we haven't found any South Pole yet, but if I find any, I'm scooping them. You already know that. Oh my gosh, look at all those about the fall. I decided to go through the regular pants to see how they price the regular pants because that's normally a section of the store that the thrift store doesn't price up. Got really good brands in here. They got a bunch of, here's a pair of sevens of only five bucks. Let's make sure there's no crotch wear on these. These are a pickup for five bucks. That's an easy one. Surf's up giving me pointers on what stores to hit. I like it. There's Bonobos. Falls Creek. Have a bunch of nearly 2,000 wide legs. Men's jeans, are they selling now? Yeah, men's jeans sell. You probably could sell those. Good. Just list them. L look up comps and list them. You should be, you should be able to sell those. It's a pair of Harley jeans. Too much for those. Too much for Harleys. See, my store, those Harleys would be like eight bucks and then they'd probably go half off. But they only, they, that's so weird that they don't even do a 75% off color here. It just means they have to be doing a lot of um, taking items out and repricing them in the back when they don't sell. Oh gosh, these are all gonna fall. <laughs> don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. So packed. One bad thing about, you know, thrift stores pricing high is you get, you know, racks that look like this that are completely stuffed. Nobody's paying, you know, nobody's paying 13 bucks for a pair of uh, Seven for All Mankind jeans at a thrift. Even a reseller can't, can't pick them up at that price. Polo jeans. Sorry, Levi's. We'll go to the shirts after this. I'm um, excited to see what suits are looking like here too. Still got so much of the store to go through. The only bad thing is they do it this side. See my store, I do it this side, so it's so much easier to go through. This way is like, I feel like it's so much harder. Cause I got the camera on the other side. I'm such a whiner, aren't I? <clears throat> How's the store? It's, so far, it's okay. I mean, I found a, I found a few things. It's a little bit pricier than our stores, um, but they do have a bigger selection. So um, I'm sure if you camp out and you hit the racks all day every day, you probably get some good stuff. But Jen, I'm claiming this as my store, okay? You're not allowed to come here. I'm gonna give him your picture when I leave. Jeans are $1.50 at your store. Yeah, at our store too, sometimes they go down to $1.50. Here it's a little bit more expensive. But like I said, we're in Miami. Everything's more expensive in Miami. My buddy was telling me he came here one time and beers, <laughs> beers were like $9 for a beer. He's like, only in Miami, beers are $9. Oh, 
Ooh, there's a Mountain Bow. Look at that. See? They, they miss things, people. Mountain Bow is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. It's only six bucks. Scoop. That's a score. Those are like 35 minimum. And they sell, typically they sell pretty fast. They don't know everything. They can't know everything. It's impossible. I just dropped a pair of jeans. Miami is fun thrifting. I can imagine. Hold on, I gotta flip you guys. Well, that's why we're here. We're here to thrift and for our anniversary to hang out for our anniversary. You smell like smoke. If you guys are hanging out, if you guys could tap the screen, send those likes, I'd appreciate it. If you like the music selection, I actually picked this music for today's live. So if you like the music selection, make sure you tap that screen. If you don't like it, tap the screen anyway. Just brothers, I skim a little bit more on these. It's super loud. Yellow's half off. Um, every red's the only color that's not half off, and green's twenty five. Everything else is half. What's up, Teach? How are you doing today? I don't like how you're siding with my sister on everything, okay? We gotta talk about this, me and you. Just 
gotta we gotta hash this out. I can't be having this. Remember who you found first, okay? Just remember that. This is a uh, Brooks Brothers at Madison. This is only 25% off, but even at that price, I would leave it. It's too much. Too much for a Brooks Brothers. Theory, I'm gonna pass. How long have you been on? I've only been on for, I think we got here at like 1.15, so like 30 minutes maybe? Maybe less than that. I don't remember. I've been driving like basically for the last four hours, so I don't even remember anything about this morning. Another you know, the theory, I'm gonna leave it. I got out of the car and, oh my God, that was the best stretch of my life. We haven't even eaten any food yet. We're like, let's go straight to red, white, and blue. We'll eat after this. So size large. At my thrift store, they price these at a hundred bucks. <laughs> they don't even sell, I wouldn't even pick up for 20, let alone for a hundred. Shoot, my favorite, okay. I'll, I won't let her know that. It, I feel better now, okay? That's all you had to say. I feel better. I think she's in the chat, but we'll ignore that. Is that a roar? That's a burnout. Oh, yeah. uh, which location is this? I have no clue. It's the new location, whatever the new one is. I don't know street names here. I don't know where I'm at. I just put this in my uh, GPS and it brought me here. So that's all I know. I'm like, you know, not from this area, so. There's a Canali. It's a sportswear Canali too, but they want full price for it. They want 15 bucks. It's a good Canali, but it's too much for 15. A little too pricey. You're my least favorite, Jen. You don't mean that. You're, you're lying to yourself. You can keep lying to yourself though. Jen, did you go to the other thrift store today? It was all yours today. You better not tell me that you skipped out on it again. I literally left it for you again. Going to any stores um, tomorrow, probably. I don't know about today because we already got here kind of late and this store is massive. So we're going to be in here for like at least another hour, hour and a half hitting all the racks. Um, but I don't know about, I don't know about the rest of today. We got to see. I know this brand can be good. Kufandi. I know that can be decent sometimes, but I'm going to leave it. I did got a few things wasn't that great okay yeah, so far this store hasn't been amazing but that's okay we don't need to get a ton of stuff you guys saw my video you already know I need to get my stuff listed but we can't pass up the opportunity to source here's a good one Paul and Shark is a great brand these always sell super fast for me this is eight bucks I'm still gonna pick it up for eight because it'll sell for 35 it's a really really good brand Kind of like an unknown brand. Rod and gun, brand new. We're gonna pass on that. Thing the salsa, completely different thrifting vibe. Yeah, gets you gets you amped up while you're thrifting. It's our Brooks Brothers, but I don't pick up Brooks Brothers. I don't pick up the double B's. The only double B I pick up is Burberry. That's it. Why you skip um, limited edition shirts, bro? eBay's for 120. Uh, I didn't know that brand. What, what color was it? I'll go back and grab it. Does it sell for 120 though? Is it listed for 120 or did it sell for 120? Why not Express? I don't pick up Express. No, Express doesn't sell. You tell me what uh, you tell me what uh, color it is. I'll go back and grab that shirt that you just said because I didn't see the see the tag. I've never heard of that brand actually. I'll tell you guys this: I do not know all the brands. That's for damn sure. We're still learning. Every day we're learning. Indochino. They bring out a new rack here pretty soon. I'll go hit it up. It's all Brooks Brothers shirts. Those are money. No, they're not. 
Brooks Brothers, go look up Brooks Brothers comps for basic shirts, especially in size medium. You'll see typical Brooks Brothers shirts are going for like anywhere between 15, top end 25 bucks. And if you're trying to get 25 from them, they're gonna sit for a while. So that has a stain on it. I have sold so many Brooks Brothers in the day. Brooks Brothers fell off about like two years ago. Appreciate the uh, follow. Um, I missed your name, but appreciate the follow. Yves Saint Laurent, so here's another one. People would see this and be like, oh, that's gotta be worth a hundred bucks. It's really not. This shirt alone would probably go for 35 tops and it would take a while to sell. So the, the name is not what you're looking for. You're looking for what they actually sell for. Was that Michael Kors? It probably was. Another brand that doesn't have good resale value. Michael Kors has a good name to it, but it does not sell. No, it does not sell very well at all. Like Bugatti, a good brand for 24 bucks, not worth it. Even if that's half off, it's not worth it. Is Montego Mon? No, that's another one that doesn't have great resale. Oh, I'm getting to the colored shirts, which are good because normally these are a little bit better. This is going to be 25% off, so this would only be um, $750. I'll probably pick this up for $750. It's got a good pattern to it. I sell these for like $35, $25 to $35 pretty quick. What brands are you looking for? I'm looking for brands with good resale value. If you want to know the brands I'm looking for, check my eBay store. It's linked in my bio. Um, there's so many I'm looking for. It's not like I'm looking for three brands. I'm literally looking for hundreds. Leadberry used to sell very well, like two, three years ago. It completely fell off. They don't have, they don't sell for hardly anything anymore. Yeah. I didn't find anything on, yeah. I didn't think it was a good shirt either. That's why I didn't, didn't stress about it. That person probably seen one listed, but it probably didn't sell. What, what brand is that? I have never seen that tag before. There's another Canali. It's uh, just a regular Canali. I'm gonna pass on it, it's a little too pricey. Would be good if it was like under, under like six or under. Use other selling platforms? Yeah, I saw on eBay, uh, Poshmark and Mercari. Anori, another brand I've never heard before. It's gorgeous, get it? Yeah, I don't go off of, uh, never go off of color. You always have to go off of resale value. Shirt might look good, but it might not sell. It's a nice Tommy Hilfiger too. Good pattern on that one. Brand names aren't important. The Lord takes you as he created you. You are greedy. Okay. Uh, if you uh, read the Bible, he also says don't judge um, others, but clearly you are. Only God can judge me. It's a nice one. Nice Tommy Bahama. Thou shall not cast the first stone. And you just threw that stone right at my head. <laughs> Alright, I gotta find the polos. There was somebody blocking my way over there. How's he greedy? He spends hundreds of dollars there. Exactly. And it goes towards a good cause. Thou shall not buy from thrift stores. <laughs> what was that? Be nice. <laughs> Listen, I'm groggy. I've been in a car for four hours, okay? Where are they? Do they have a section for... I'm trying to find a section for the Hawaiian shirts. That's what I'm really interested in is the Hawaiian shirts. They also need to bring out... See, I hit this rack right when it came out. They have already stocked it up. So gotta be quick on the racks. Go faster after the leaf soon. Jen. 
I knew I was your favorite. You're still here. That's how I know I'm your favorite. They got real security tags there. They got them at our store, but some of them aren't such a tag. Like this one doesn't have a tag on it. It's weird. They got like random ones tagged and then other ones aren't tagged. Rory Whelan. Isn't that like a good golfer? Does anybody know if that's a good golf brand? I've never seen that label before. I don't know anything about golf. Golf season by everything I know. If it's a decent brand, pick it up. I've never heard of that one before though. What brands are you looking for? Brands with good resale value. Probably think, oh yeah, I'm probably thinking of him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about golf. I, I know about mini golf. 1v1 me in mini golf. Let's go. No, I passed. Okay. He passed. Man, this store is like, oh, this is a, oh, it's a polo. It's new? It says new. There's no tag on it, though. Um, so far, the store hasn't been that great. My store is definitely better than this store, for sure. Tommy Bahama. It's a pretty cool looking tag, too. You get a couple things, so the cart's like half full. But based off how big this store is, I would expect my cart to be like twice as full. And again, people probably already hit this area. Ooh, there's a fake polo. <laughs> Look how fake this is. Look how absolutely fake this is. <laughs> that is bad. That is a bad fake. Que pasa? Appreciate everybody hanging out. If you're not uh, following, hit that follow button top left hand corner. If you're watching this on, uh, re watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button too. Subscribe if you haven't already. This will be up on YouTube later today. Hopefully later today. If I get reception at the um, hotel, I'll try to upload it. Um, but if not, it'll, it'll go up after um, the vacation is over with. We're also going to be filming a, here's another fake one. Really bad fake. We're also going to be filming a YouTube video while we're here, too, so be on the lookout for that. Bolo. There's another Ben. Oh, no, that's a, that's a real one. Southern Tide. We want $10 for Southern Tide. Ouch. Ouch. See, that's a Surf's Up pickup. Surf's Up will probably pick that up. Rory Wellen is selling for around 40 on eBay. It is? Yeah, I'll go back and grab it. I know where it is. Here's a Peter Millar. It's too much money, though. Um, it's a good one, too. It's a size medium. There's no embroidery on it anywhere. This would sell pretty quick. It is 10 bucks. It would sell for 25 I'll pass. That's too bad. I would easily pick that up. Hawaiian shirts, yeah, I'm gonna find them after this. Don't worry, Jen, we just got the rest of this whole row to go, okay? So stick around. I know you got somewhere to be, but uh, you can just keep me playing in the background, okay? Just get your AirPods out and just, you know, listen to listen to old K-Way Thrift. You can hit, listen to the ASMR. Chrissy, appreciate the follow. Ladies clothes, Kayla's in the ladies clothes right now. She's hitting the ladies while I hit the men's. I'm surprised polos aren't that good here. A couple of vineyard vines, but they want eight bucks for them. I don't pick up vineyard vines for that price. Here's a old school Peter Millar. It does have a club embroidery on the front. There's another one. Um, what did I say blue tags were? Are blue tags 25 or blue tags are half, right? So that would be 650. Yeah not bad for an older these older peter millards actually go decently because they're made with a better cotton i think this one was blue too right oh there's a couple of them here i don't know what golf club that is though percent yeah i don't know what golf club that is but i'll pick those up 650 that's not bad 
for some older Peter Malaws. From some older Peters. What brand are you? I don't know. Here's another one. Older Peter Malar. This one is five bucks. That's not bad. This is a nice pattern too. Older label though. Um, this is missing the size tag too, but I'm assuming it's going to be the same size as those because um, it's basically looks the same, same size. I'll just measure them and figure out what the size is based off the measurements. Show logo again. That's the logo right there. It had something on the sleeve, I believe. One of these has something on the sleeve. Um, there it is. The Glen, Glandy, Glandy Cup? Glandy Cup. Looks like it. Maybe a special cup. I wish this was half off. I'd pick it up. It's a good color on that one. When you're picking up Polar Alpha Loren, this is the kind of polos you're looking for. These crazy, crazy uh, colors. They do a little bit better than your average polo. Here's a good one. This one I'm definitely probably going to scoop, even for 8 bucks because it's a camo full camo ones these go for like 35 and they sell really fast on mercari it's a good one all right polos are starting to hit at least now just trying to get a couple scoops this is nice it's a performance if this was half off i'd pick it up performance vineyard vines polos sell better than the cotton ones because they're a little bit more stretchy sell a little bit better Getting hungry for Mexican food? Oh, that's probably what we're gonna do for lunch. Sassy. Probably gonna do that for lunch now. We haven't even eaten lunch. This is new with tags. Yeah, it is new with tags, but it's got a border on the front. Another Vineyard Vines polo. Straight down, there we go. That's a good one. It's a nice men's straight down polo. Eight bucks, but these go for 35. 25 to 35 sell pretty quick. We got Goodwill? No, I'm at a store called Red, White, and Blue. It's our first time here. I'm from the Tampa Bay area and we're on vacationing in Miami. So we uh, decided to come over here. They got three of these stores here. So we gonna try to hit all three. Hope, we're definitely gonna hit two, um, maybe all three, we'll see. That Brooks Brothers was new with tags, but it's too much for a polo, even at 25% off. Bobby Jones is a good brand to be on the lookout for. If it has a master's logo, if it doesn't, then it's a pass usually. Has that Masters logo, they're definitely worth picking up. Like so. I hardly ever find them. I found them one time at a Salvation Army. I found six of them at the same Salvation Army with that Masters logo, and they all sold super fast. A little bit of a more rare Masters collab. Red, white, and blue is the best, definitely. Cherokee Country Club in Tennessee, by the way. What do you mean? By the way, if you're just coming in, this is going to be up on YouTube, hopefully later today. If not, it'll be up sometime next week when we get off vacation. I'm just going to, ooh, there we go. You already know. If you know, you know. Eight bucks. William Murray polo. This is like a $60 polo. All day, every day. Boom. That's a good scoop. Beautiful scoop. All right, let's see. If, hopefully we got some more sitting in here somewhere. Walt Disney. Don't pick these up. They don't sell that well. I know it's Disney and you, you would imagine it would sell well, but it really doesn't. Good find. Yeah, I hardly ever find uh, William Murray. So I do good with Bobby Jones. They can sell okay, but I'm paying $8 for them here. Um, if I sell them for even 25 tops, it, it's not enough uh, profit for me. So um, maybe for you, that's enough and that's okay. That's your business model. But mine, I just... I, I'd rather list stuff that I can get a little bit more margin and a little bit faster too, because those tend to sit for me. All right, so we got a William Murray. That's good. That definitely makes this trip worth it. That'll probably be my thumbnail. There's an RLX, but they want 15 for it. It's too much. Well, they got a new rack out. Hold on. I'm doing I'm doing a cardinal sin. I'm leaving my cart there. Don't, don't leave your cart unattended, people. Don't do not do the K. That's not that's not the K way that you should be doing. Wrangler. Alright, nothing on that rack anyway. Just a bunch of junk. 
Nike Golf? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Not the Nike Golf. Not picking that up. Chad, appreciate the follow. I'm almost to 50k followers, by the way. So if you guys aren't following me, I'd really appreciate it. I'm hoping to hit it by this weekend. That'll be a cool little anniversary gift to me if you guys could just get me to 50k followers. I do these lives often, and then I upload them to YouTube too. So if you're not subscribed on YouTube, just head over there really quick and give me a sub over there. Nope. Thought that might be a Lulu. It's just sadly not a Lulu. Uh, no, I'm not picking up ping. No ping for me. I can only tell by the buttons as if it's a Lulu. Another Vineyard Vines performance. Sad, they got those marked up too high. I'd pick all those up because they would sell really fast. Perfect time of year to scoop those up. Uh, Two Thunder, appreciate the follow, and the Middle Aged Kid, appreciate the follow. I like your name, by the way, Middle Aged Kid. That's that's, that's a good one. Okay, so back to the basic color polos. There's a Bugatti. It's got a stain on it. Oakley is no good. I know somebody's going to say go back and get the Oakley. Oakleys don't sell very well. Well, I sell, but they don't sell for a lot, so I don't pick them up. It's a good Nike. It's brand new. It's too much, though. Ben Hogan. Is this what you do on your vacation? Absolutely. Uh, if you go on vacation and I go thrifting, it's 100% a tax write-off. Basically, I get a free vacation. See how that works? It's my anniversary weekend. As long as we hit a couple thrift stores while we're here, we write the whole thing off. Benefits to running your own business. Um, this has a hit on the sleeve. I would normally pick it up, but with that hit, I'm going to skip it. How much was it, Brooks Brothers? I think they're all like eight bucks. Like this is eight bucks. So at eight bucks, Brooks Brothers is not a pickup. Most Brooks Brothers nowadays aren't a pickup, actually. But um, there's certain ones that I do. Solid whites I pick up. Oh, so the short sleeve shirts are on the other side, so we'll look at those after this. I'm not going to go through the t-shirts. These are all t-shirts. The Jordan shirt, though. Eight bucks for a Jordan t-shirt. Yikes. Yikes. Do you get sore hands stiffing through? No, but my fingers crack. I get uh, my, my fingers crack. I show them too, but it's disgusting. Where are you in the world? Um, I'm in the United States. Um, Miami. Miami, Florida. Scotch and soda used to be good. I don't pick this up anymore. You would have sold it for more? Oregon t-shirts are usually three ninety-five. dollars yeah. The, the Jordan shirt? No. I probably could have. You're right. I could sell it for more, but it's not worth my time to sell it for 20 bucks and make only like six bucks profit. It's not worth my time. So I'll leave that for somebody else. Here's a good one. You can tell it's good just by that. On Bahama. Green is 25%, I think. So I'll still pick it up for that price. That's a good one. Make sure green's, yeah, green's 25%. Corn shirts don't sell good. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Jen. Jen, you're still here. I thought you had to go. Are you late? If so, that's excellent. That's excellent news. Nice one, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good little scoop. I don't find too many of those too often, especially Tommy Bahamas. If this was a solid Tommy Bahama, I wouldn't pick it up, but because it has that hit on the back, it's a pickup. Now, the only other thing I do is I'm probably gonna put it back because it has a couple stains. Yeah, it's gotta go back on the shelf. 
It's got a couple stains and uh, silk shirts with those kind of stains are really hard to get rid of. So that's why we always condition check everything again at the end because you get stains like that and you gotta leave them. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, it's sad. Somebody else will probably scoop it and try to get that out, but it's not worth my time to mess with that shirt. Tomio it is but with that stain on the front it would be super hard to move um, so e even if I picked it up if I listed it with the stain it'd probably only be able to sell for like 20 to 25 and I'm paying ten dollars for it it's not worth my time another good this is a decent Brooks Brothers but they want too much for it I might have actually picked this one up because this has a really good pattern to it you can see that like distressed kind of looking pattern but too much at that price wash it silk is really hard to wash and keep um, that silky silky feeling to it so it's a pass remember profit like Chris says profit not projects that right there is a project I'd rather search for the, the better shirts that I don't have to spend any time on Shout out Chris at Peak. If you're not following Chris at Peak. Alan Fuser. Man, I was expecting some really good Hawaiian shirts here. Really good ones. None so far. There's a Tommy Bahama. I brought another rack I can't see. There's another one. This one's full price. It's a good graphic. I'm probably going to throw this one in the cart and I'll look it up later. Um, see if that graphic's worth enough for me to be able to pick it up for that price. Because that is pretty pricey for that shirt. It's 15 bucks. When you got there late, I did. We had we have these things called kids. And we have to drop them off at this thing called school. So we couldn't leave until eight o'clock. <laughs> Frinkle do steam, um no. We hardly ever steam our stuff. Come on, come on. Let me get a nice hit. I want a nice, like, $50 hit somewhere in here. Chubby's uh, polos have resale value. Polos aren't as good as like the shorts and the shirts, like the uh, uh, long sleeve and sh uh, short sleeve button shirts, but they still have value. Um, just not as much. It's probably like the lowest end piece when it comes to Chubby's is the uh, is those uh, polos. After this, we'll go through the pants, um, the section of the pants we didn't go through yet. You know, actually, we'll go through the shorts first, South Pole, if only those were a pair of jeans. Bud Bermuda shirt. I don't think it's good. That's why I left it. Um, it's a nice Bugatti, but it's be seven fifty. I'm gonna pass it for that price. It's a good print on it, but it's not gonna move that fast. Gibson. Gibson store with the clothes this nice. Yeah, it's red, white, and blue. These stores are always this good. Is this like, hey dude, don't they make shoes now? Hey dude, used to be Hawaiian shirts, now they just make shoes. 
Expensive though. Is that Hey Dude worth picking up? This is a rayon Hey Dude. I've never seen a Hey Dude shirt. Does Hey Dude actually sell? Someone in chat look those up. Probably like a different kind of brand. It's not the original or the Hey Dude we know. It's probably like a different Hey Dude. I don't think Hey Dude has a hyphen in it, does it? Oh, the AC's blowing right on me. It feels so good. There's another one. I appreciate the volume. It's the Walmart Hey Dude? Oh, okay. Damn, made out of rayon, though? made out of rayon. I wouldn't expect uh, Walmart to be have a rayon blend. It's a nice RJC. I used to pick these up, but they don't move for me, even with good patterns. This, this would be 25% uh, off, so it'd be, what, 475 or something like that? It's got a decent pattern on it, but I've had these, some of these listed for, like, years, and they don't move. And then other ones sell super fast. Um, this is a good color on this one. A good pattern so cheap but i'm gonna pass I, I know it sounds weird but I've, I've listed those and they just sit for me quicksilver i don't pick up quicksilver now store located it's in miami i don't know exactly where this I, i'm not from miami we're just here on vacation so this is the new store in miami so if that helps you brand new location walmart got better quality nowadays you gotta start sourcing at walmart we all gotta start sourcing there 2XL. It's too basic.
Look up that brand right there. It's made in USA, American Giant. They go for good money. North Face. Basic T. It's a Carhartt. It's only three bucks. I'll skip it. Nice little Carhartt basic tee. I might keep this. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to wear a long sleeve hardly ever, but this is a nice little pocket Carhartt. Pocket hit Carhartt. All right, let's, let's go. We're starting to, we're starting to get a little hot over here. I like it. Let's not, let's not cool off. Uh, what do you think about partially embroidered Tom Bahama 100% silk? Depends on the embroidery. It's a Mitchell and Ness too. Mitchell and Ness throwback bears for four bucks. This is probably a pickup too. For four bucks i'll have to look it up but i don't really pick up too much missile at mitchell in this but it's probably a scoop for four okay i'm liking this a little a little, little horny toad piece too um i'm probably gonna leave it though last couple horny toads i picked up they kind of sat for a little bit and i don't want to pick up something that's gonna sit especially a long sleeve Starting to hit some things. I like this. I like this. This is the Miami I thought I would run into. Pumas. I do a lot of those people uh, were at the shorts. I know. Yeah, shout out to those people that were at the shorts. I would have still made it over here, but that American Giant might not have made it that long. That's a pretty good Bolo brand to be on the lookout for. 2018. Polar off the rim. Ryan Seacrest. Best brand out there is Ryan Seacrest. Be on the lookout for it. Titus. What's a good uh, polo brand called? Uh, you want to know a good brand to be on the lookout for? Uh, G4. There's a good one for you. G slash four. Sell for really good money. In used condition too. These polos were discounted. I'd probably pick them up. They're only five bucks. It's a large and it's a long sleeve. Um, but I'm not really messing with long sleeves right now. Never seen is this fake. Somebody tell me, is this? Oh, this is an older Lulu. That's what it is. This is an old Lulu. It's 15 bucks. It's a men's. It's definitely old because it's got that. Probably gonna pass because it might be out of style right now. Old Lulu. It's got the hexagon, which means it's really old. Get that Lulu. What does it sell for though? They want 15 for it. Is it worth it at 15? Is this worth it at 15? It's in pretty good condition. It's a hexagon logo. Not for 15, yeah. Yeah, if it was anything other than 15, I might scoop it. 15 is a little too pricey. Pink tag? Well, no, it's it's a it's a red tag. Red tags are the only tags that don't have a discount today. So it was that means it was just put out, which means it'll probably sell. Somebody will pick that up for themselves because that's a decent price if you're gonna wear it yourself. But for resale, it's not. Here's a Patagonia. It's only two bucks. Patagonia shirt. I'll pick this up for two bucks. Um, it looks to be in okay condition. Might need a quick little wash in it. To in better condition, Patagucci. I wish it was something better than just a uh, t-shirt, but can't pass on a Patagucci t-shirt. It's a quick uh, two bucks. I could probably flip that for like 15 plus shipping since it's a long sleeve. Tesla, too much though. It's the best way to sell on Posh. Um, list your items and share your items. That's the best way to sell on Posh. List and share, list and share. 
too much for that southern tide. This is a good brand, right? Built, B-Y-L-T. It's too much money though, they, damn, they want so much for it. It's not new with tags, is it? How much do these go for? Oh, it is a new tags. Brand new. I think I heard that brand before. Yes, what, is, what would this sell for? I'll mark it really quick, if I can go back for it. Don't sell. Women's medium North Face. Six bucks. That's a scoop. It's easy. That's easy quick money right there. Too expensive though. It sells for me. 80. How much would it sell for new with tags though? Is it too much new with tags even? Appreciate the uh, TGIFs. Four cells today on hats, backpack, really nice. Let's go. Alright. They're loading it up. I gotta remember, I gotta look for the new carts when I bring them out. It's like 40, okay, then I'll pass. 40 is not enough, not enough profit. Okay, yeah, it's a pass. Appreciate you guys looking that up. You guys and gals. It's a nice Ralph Lauren, but it's too expensive. see anything else in this it's a pretty cool adidas this is new oops hold on you guys down sorry had to set you guys down How's the charger working out? I, I didn't have to use it because my phone battery was full. Uh, I didn't, uh, I, I drove here and I used the uh, charger and the car all the way so my phone was still full. So um, I'll let you guys know, probably if we go to a, the next store, I'm gonna have to use it because I'm gonna be pretty low on battery at that point. Oh, are these backwards? Actually, that's better. These are actually the good way. Look at the source. I'm gonna skim through these pretty quick. There can be some hidden gems in here. So you always check the pants for the hidden gems. But it's not fun to watch somebody go through the pants, so that's why I don't really like going through them on camera too much. You guys kinda, I see the numbers dip as soon as I go through the pants. Maybe I should go through the shorts first. Those are a little bit easier to see me go through. What I'm doing is I'm looking for the back tags and I'm looking for something like this. That's Amazon though. Sometimes G4 has the same kind of hit. My bad, I'm not even showing the pants. Let's go through the shorts really quick and then we'll come back to the pants. Shoes on your feet look nice, those are the Yeezys. I wear Yeezys religiously. Every day you'll see me wearing Yeezys. Oh, 
सबका है Come on, we gotta get some good golf short hits. Some Peter Millar, some Lululemon. It'd be nice to find a pair of G4s. I haven't found a pair of G4s in forever. They're a really good brand to be on the lookout for. Where'd Kayla go? Oh, um, I didn't know she was on live. There's a pair of Carhartts. We got a couple pair of Carhartts. She probably, it's probably, um, her mom probably called her. We'll pick these up for five bucks each. I didn't know she was on live. She told me she wasn't going to go live, probably. Is she finding some good stuff? Nike dry fit um not for five bucks I pick it up I try I, try, I mean it's got to be cheap for me to pick up there's another pair of Carhartts Carhartt shorts however those sell very well year round where are you oh I thought they were Carhartts too Brax Spanx and Beauty Blues, let's go. Spanx Queen, she's a Spanx Queen, I should have known. I should have known, I shouldn't even ask. I should have said, I shouldn't ask how she was doing. I should have asked how many Spanx does she have in her cart. So her live thrift will be up on YouTube too. So we're gonna do both of our live thrifts. And if we go to a couple more stores, we'll keep uploading them um, throughout the weekend and the week next week. So you guys will be able to see these replayed on YouTube. You can rewatch them at any time. Pair of Lacoste, if you want um, 13 bucks for them. They're half off, but that's still too much to pay for Lacoste. Power. Peter Millar pass. I don't think I saw Peter Millar. If I find Peter Millar shorts, I'm normally picking them up. Hopefully I didn't pass one. If I did, I'm not going back. It'll be way too hard to find out. See, that's Peter Millar. That right there, this right here, is Peter Millar. I know that for a fact. Ready for this? Ready for this? Ready, ready, ready? Boom. Told you. Based off of this little tag right here, I know this is Peter Millar. These are a good size too, size 38, and they're in good condition. So those are a pickup. Khaki and cloud interior. Did I miss them? Those aren't Peter Millar, if that's what you're saying. Damn, now that I found one, now I want to go back and look if I missed one. Hold on, speed thrift, speed thrift. Those aren't Peter Millar. These are Tommy Bahamas. You were Peter Millar with cloud, cloud interior? Damn, did I really miss one? Fuck. This one? That's not Peter Millar, that's Polo. Light blue clouds. I don't see it. This is where I stopped. You said khaki, so it's got to be this section right here, right? How's it going? Going good. Yeah, we're hitting some good stuff now that we're in the shorts. The light blue one too are really good because they're the uh, they're the performance Peter Millar's. But I don't think, I think you might have saw these. Those are not Peter Millar's. Those are um, Tommy Bahamas. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think they're here. I just went through the whole section again. So, yeah. 
I don't think they're here, unfortunately. That's okay. Appreciate you uh, keeping me on my toes. So 511 tacticals? What is A511? These are definitely 511 tacticals, though, right? Knew it tags. Yeah, they're not. They're like knockoff 511 tacticals, I think. Are they 511s? Are these 511 tacticals? They don't have a 511 tactical hit on the inside though. And they don't feel as quality as 511 tacticals normally do. <clears throat> they feel kind of cheap. I find out why people in Miami are always so happy. Because every store probably pay, plays the same music. South Pole, Shorts, or a Pass. How could you ever be like in a bad mood when they're playing this kind of music in the background? It's like impossible. Like somebody could like step on my foot right now, I could jam my toe, and I would still probably be happy as long as this music is playing in the background. They look fake, yeah. They, they do look like chinzy and fake. It's like a knockoff 511. They put an A in front of it, and they're calling them A511. Makes me want to go on vacation. I know, I want to go to the beach like right now. Might not, I might not go to another thrift store after this, because we might have to go to the beach. I'm sure every place on the beach is probably playing the same exact music. Nike call, 10 bucks though. Get some colorful shorts coming up here soon, which is good. Colorfuls normally do a little bit better. Don't pick up Tommy Bahama shorts though. I know a lot of you see me pick up Tommy Bahama. I never pick up the shorts. Shorts just don't move very well. They don't, they'll, they'll sell. They just won't sell for a lot. Another good find in this colorful short section. The A is for active, is it? There's no tag on the inside though. Normally 511 will have a tag next to the uh, next to the actual brand name, and that one didn't have a tag. So that's why I was assuming it's probably a knockoff. Okay, these are seersucker. Have a stain on them though. Seersucker might have been a pickup, even at that high price, because those will sell pretty quick. Seersucker is something good to look out for. What are you? What are you? You got ducks all over you. Huh? Nothing. Tommy Hilfiger. And short section is kind of dry too. I guess that American Giant. That was, that made this whole trip worth it. It's, and it's 511. It's A511. It has an A in the front and 511. What's up, Amy? It's not just, it doesn't say 511. It says, oh, there's Link sold. Are these new? Why are they pricing these up so high? His uh, yellow's half off though, right? Yellow's half off, I'll pick these up. Link Soul do pretty good for me. They know they're Link Soul here. Hmm. It's a brand that normal thrifts don't know. Legit a lower end of 511, none sold, okay. Yeah, so I'll pass on those. Brand new, but <clears throat> they did feel super cheap. Anybody need a bathing suit? This is, this is Miami territory right here. Look for some Chubby's bathing suits. I'm actually gonna skip through, skip over the bathing suits. I don't really pick up too many bathing suits. Chubby's is a good brand. All right, let's go through the pants.
Now we're gonna go through the pants. Now that we went through the shorts. Just sold chubbies? Yeah, chubbies sell really fast, really well. Especially this time of year, people are picking up their win or winter gear, their uh, summer gear right now. <clears throat> so if you can find some summer gear, pick it up. I forgot where I left off over here, but we'll just start from the beginning again. And after this, I think all we have left is suits. And then, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna pick up any suits. I might not even go through the suits because I'm not gonna, I haven't listed the ones I have right now. Suits are kind of annoying to list. They do sell for good money though. I've already sold three. Probably.
I knew it was something good when I saw Made in Canada on it. I was like, oh, Made in Canada. So if there's one, that means there may be more. And that also means I need to go through the pants and look for the pants that have that plaid pattern to them because they might actually, there might be more of uh, the whole suit here actually. So that's what I'm gonna do after this. I'm gonna go through the pants really quick and I'm just gonna skim them and see if I can find the other, the pants to make it a full suit and pant combo. I know Chris picks these up. Yeah, where the pants, that's what I'm gonna look for, Felix. I know Chris sometimes picks up chaps. This is 100% lamb's wool. I don't know about chaps though. I'll leave that to Chris at beat. Chris, they got chaps here if you want them, buddy. Todd Snyder for five bucks. Let's go. I found American Giant. I found Todd Snyder. It's a good sourcing trip. <clears throat> what will it sell for? I have no clue. Um, I know Todd Snyder sweaters go for good money. I'd have to look up suit comp, uh, suit uh, prices, but to be honest, I think it, either way it's good. It's a Todd Snyder piece. Todd Snyder goes for big money. Golden Eagle. Just think I was about to not go through the suits too. Yikes. Wool chaps is yes for the right price, okay. Some go for 200. What color were those? Apparel, I'll just feel for it. Where was that, chaps? I don't know about chaps. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna do more research on it and then I'll know from now on to pick up chaps at that price. If I was more comfortable with it, I'd pick it up because we also have to make sure we're, there's a chaps we're off wearing. Um, we have to make sure we keep a little bit of space for everything. There's a Zegna. Zegna. The Zegna suit. I'll pass on it. It's another one. This one feels like it has cashmere. All right, this might be a pickup. Uh, or men, what, how the fuck you say that name? And then uh, it's a silk cashmere. Silk cashmere. What do you guys think? There's a little something on the collar, but I think that'll come off. Get Zegna. Should I get this suit? It's a, it's a silk. I'll look up comps. The other Zegna I'm gonna leave behind because it's just a wool, I believe. Made in Italy. Hard to wash. I think that'll I don't think I have to wash that actually. I think it'll just come out. This one looks to be just Yeah, that one's 100 percent wool. Which platform are we selling? It's selling on eBay, Poshmark, and uh, Mercari. That Burberry is half off, right? Blue's half off, I think. This Burberry is only 20. I don't know about Burberry coats though. I don't think they do very well. Segna, yes. What about the basic one? What about the 100% wool one? What do those go for? Does anybody know? Can you give me like a price that I'll go for and I'll go back and grab it? Because they wanted 20 for it. Let me know at 20 bucks. Is it a pickup? What size was it? Or was it again? After the London Fog. Uh, let's look for the tag. Uh, where the hell was it? It was a blue one, wasn't it? It? It's a size, um, size 44. Can we be friends? Absolutely. How do you ship, ship a shoe? Yeah, you just fold it up. Do you ever t see t uh, Ted Baker? Those are popular in my area. Yeah, I pick up Ted. I picked up a Ted Baker. I haven't listed it yet though. So 
size 44. Eight forty ish listed, but what are they selling for? <clears throat> so I'm gonna play, if I'm gonna pay twenty for that, it needs to be at least a hundred dollar suit. Because I'm probably gonna sit on it for a little bit. Suits don't sell super fast in most cases, so two hundred seventy blue ones. Comps over the days. Yeah, Ted Baker stored away safely. It's in one of the bags that's underneath everything else. That's where it is. It's somewhere out in the garage, just chilling. We'll get to it one day. 30 plus, yeah, I'm not picking that up. The cashmere one probably is worth picking up. The cashmere silk one is a little bit, it's a better, you know, fabric content, so those will probably sell a little bit better. Nautica, Nordstrom. Joseph Weiss. I wanna find a Peter Millar suit here. That would be dope if I could come across a, a pizza. There's a pizza. It's gotta be a pizza somewhere in here. Forty to one seventy-five. Yeah, I'll pass on it. The silk one, silk one, I'll keep. The silk one, I'll take. I feel like that one's gonna be a little bit of a better sale. I should probably just fill these for the better fabric ones. Although the Todd Snyder one, I guess it did feel a little bit better pass up because a lot of these are like really crappy brands you're press are uh, you doing this one-handed yeah i'm a pro i'm a professional i for, for months i practiced uh what i did was i walked around my house and i just did everything one-handed while i filmed it and eventually i got so good at it i'm like okay let's do this live i even went to the bathroom one-handed that's really hard to do Brothers. This might be a pickup. Ah, it's 12 bucks though. It's 12 dollars Are you kidding me for real? No, no, I'm kidding you. How do you want to do that? Um, it's 13 bucks. I'm going to pass on that. Oh, that Todd Snyder you grab has great sell through and comps are around 100. Yep, and it's only um, 5 bucks. Pretty crazy, right? I didn't know that. I didn't I actually didn't know what the suits sell for. I've never found a Todd Snyder suit, but uh, yeah, Todd Snyder's are a really, really good brand and crazy sell-through. People really love uh, the Todd Snyder. Mr. Todd, people like Mr. Todd. This is like a this is like a Ted Baker. When you're looking through and you see stuff like this, this could be very well a Ted Baker. That's what you're looking for is that crazy interior. You're feeling sassy today? I know I am. That's because I was stuck in a car for four hours. And fun fact, Kayla does not drive on long trips. So your boy has to drive every time, no matter what. Don't pick this brand up. Um so I, I hate driving long distances too. I just get so bored. So what I do is I play, you know, the one music that she hates, like rap. I'll play like the, you know, this whole way here. I play Drake the whole way here. It's like, hey, if I'm driving, I get to listen to my music. So I got to stay awake. This looks like a Brooks Brothers too. Ooh, it's a camel hair Brooks Brothers. This is probably a pickup. Let's see what size it is. It's a Brooks Brothers, 100% camel hair. And it's a size 44 reg. So this is probably a pickup. As long as it's in good condition. Um, those look like just like minor. Oh, that's like fluff. That'll come right off. Brooks Brothers camel hair with a vent in the back. This is a good one. Scoop that for five bucks. That's not bad. I need to get these suits listed ASAP. First thing I do when I get back home is I'm listing these suits. I'm not letting them sit around. If I'm picking up suits, I gotta list them. That's my that's my uh, that's my word. Felix, if I don't do it, just don't hate me, okay? I know you're gonna be the one to be like, have you listed the suits yet? Hey K Way, you listed the suits yet? Joseph A. J. Crew. 
470 people, 407 people here, not 70. Pretty crazy. If you guys aren't following, hit the follow button. I'm pretty close to 50K, so a cool anniversary gift to me would be uh, you guys getting me to 50K. I'd appreciate that. But we're right now, we're doing some live thrifting. If you missed the beginning of this, this will be up on YouTube. So you can rewatch this at any time uh, once I get it up. We're on vacation right now, so it might be a little bit before we get it up. Why is a Regent fit 15 bucks and then the regular fit, the camel hair one is less expensive that doesn't make any sense but um yeah give me a follow is your wifey uh working yeah she's at she's at the uh she's on the other side of the store she's working we're both working hard um she's over there i think she's on live somebody said that she's on live what about hickey freeman i don't know if hickey freeman does good suit wise i know their shirts suck now but their their suits might actually do pretty decently van Houston. Stafford. Uh, where are you today? You said four hours. We're, we're in Miami. We're spending the weekend in Miami. It's our, it's our anniversary, and we decided to spend it in Miami. So one reason we came here is because we know that there's a ton of red, white, and blues here. There's actually three red, white, and blues. What's your TikTok? K the Book Nerd. Somebody, if you could write it, and then uh, one of my mods, if you can pin it for me, I'd appreciate it. K the Book Nerd. Is that Ted Baker? Yes, it is. Wow. They want 35 bucks for it, though. That's a good one. That's a good Ted Baker, but for 35 bucks, I'm going to leave it. Look at that interior. Really good one. Too bad it's 35. Is it a full suit, though? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's a Ted Baker full suit. This might actually be worth it. What do you guys think? Ted Baker full suit? What do you think this would go for full suit-wise? It is a size... Um, it's a size 46, and the trou the pants are a size 40, 100% wool. Yes, it's 35, 35 bucks. So, what do you guys think that will sell for? We'll, we'll put it in the cart for now because everybody just freaked out. So, that's a good sign. Good size too. Yeah, it's a, that's a really good size, really common size. Yeah, let me know what it will sell for. I'll look it up anyway if you guys don't know. But um, I'm thinking that's at least 100 for the full suit and pant combo. Should be north of 100, 125. Okay, cool. Little scoop it. That's a good one. I like that. I like that comp. That's a good one. Yeah, only we could find a Peter Millar suit, full suit, then this day will be made. Or a Todd Snyder. Another Todd Snyder would be nice. There's a Barney's. I don't pick up Barney's. I looked up comps. People talk me into Barney's and then I looked up comps and comps weren't that great for the Barney's. Donald Trump. The Trumpster. Nautica. 100 to 175. Okay, that's a good comp. I like that. I'll take that all day. I do need to make sure the pants are actually the, uh, the correct pants to go with it. Because sometimes they just throw random pants with suits. It's dirty anyway. I'm not gonna look at that one. It's dirty. Jose A. Tons of. Jose A. Kayla says she's hungry. Okay, we'll tell her we'll go get food right after this. After this aisle, tell her I'm almost done. Tell her as long as she has at least. Six thousand dollars profit in our cart. We can go eat. If not, tell her keep going. I'm just kidding. That was a joke, by the way, people. Don't come for me, YouTube. YouTube's gonna come for me now. I'm gonna be like, you need to treat your wife better, you tool. Tell her she's got to pay for the meal with her thrifted items. Twenty-five for a Brooks. I'm gonna leave that. There's another Brooks Brothers. I want 25 for these. It's kind of expensive. You guys need walkie talkies? I'm just gonna yell her name. What she needs actually, she needs a um, she needs one of those like 
uh, hats that has like a, a flag on the top. So that way I can actually spot her when I'm walking down the aisles. You guys don't understand, like when I'm trying to find her in a thrift store, sometimes I have to walk around for like 30 minutes because I can't spot her because she's too damn short. So she needs like a flag on her cart or something. Calvin Klein. Endurance model? I don't know what model it is, hold on. Um, it just says Ted Baker, London. What do you think, Felix? What are you thinking, Felix? What are you thinking? Is that better or not better? I went to the gym and you're still here. Yes. <clears throat> Jen, it's a big store, okay? Jen, it's a big store. Understand that? Jen, what gym do you go to? We just signed up for a gym. Get one of the grocery flags? Yeah, that's what I need to do. It's actually a smart idea. All these are crappy suits. I'm gonna feel for the suit. I'm gonna do the surf's up method. I'm just gonna feel for the suits. That's a funky looking suit. Joseph A, Joseph A. That one's probably bad. That feels quality but it's not. That one feels quality, but it's not. Um, Esporta? No, we joined the other one. We joined uh, the one that's down the road already. Yeah, she didn't want to join Esporta. She joined another, the, I forget the name of it. That's how, that's how much I've gone already. Um, it's down the road near the Winn-Dixie. Is it Winn-Dixie, I think? There's a Christian Dior. Yeah, too much for it though. This red wine blue it is. Amp, yeah, that's the one. Amp. We're amped up to go to Amp. She went this morning. Your, or no, not this morning. She went yesterday morning. Your boy did not go yet. I kind of like the dad bod. I don't know if I can lose it. I think it just represents me. <clears throat> Ew, that's a Peter Malar. Tell me that's a Peter Malar. Tell me it's a Peter Malar. Please tell me this is a Peter Malar. Nope, Tommy Hilfiger. Damn it. Damn you, Tommy. Usually at uh, 5.30 a.m.? Yeah, that's too early. That's way too early. That's like... Who wakes up at 5.30 a.m.? Crazy people wake up at that time. Well, I do explain you, Jen. That's why you wake up at that time. Here's a Brooks Brothers. And that's 59 bucks for it. This is a really good Brooks Brothers. I can feel it. I can feel it's good. It is 100% lamb's wool. It's a trench, but it's too much. Burberry? Burberry? The fake Burberry? Damn you. Christian Dior. French. Oh, there you go, Felix. Felix. Real cow interior. Made in Argentina. There you go, Felix. You want me to buy this for you, buddy? I can see you rocking that, Felix. You go to work at 3.30? I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry you have to wake up that early. I would never... Would never. Too damn early. If the birds aren't chirping, you should not be awake. Foot joy. It's a good 2XL. Look at it's got holes in it though. Yikes, that has a whole bunch of holes in it. There's another foot joy. This is a dry joys. Is that faded though? Kind of looks. Oh, is that faded? No, that's just the color on it. I'm probably going to pick this up. This is a decent one. Actually, I know there's holes in this one too. Damn. Wrangler. All right, I better go pick up some she's, she's She's hungry. 
right, let's go find her really quick and then I'll go ahead and sign off. Oh yeah. <laughs> spider. All right, so that was a polo bear. She's in the shirts, okay. I don't know where that is in this in this store. I'll show you guys these two really quick before I go find her. Um, it's a Carhartt for four bucks. It's a two XL and it's got the pocket hit. That's a good pickup. And then this is a three XB, really good size. It is thirteen bucks, but it's got the Polo Bear on the front. Anytime you find Polo Ralph Lauren Polo Bear stuff, it sells really well. Um, so I'll scoop that up. I will pay up for it, but it's a uh, it's worth it. Pick up vintage tees. I don't really go for vintage. No, I'm not one of those vintage guys. She said she'd buy the shirt. I'll take you guys on the tour really quick. Here's the dresses. Man, this is all women's. This whole section is women's. This is why she needs a flag right here because it's almost impossible for me to find her. Did she go through the jackets? Oh, pants for suit? No, I'm not gonna go back now too late. Does anybody know if she went through these jackets? Hang on, I can tell you if she went through the jackets in just a minute. She didn't go through the jackets. It's a North Face for eight bucks. Vintage Lacoste. Yeah, she didn't go through the jackets. There's no way. Don't tell her I'm here. Tell her, tell her I'm looking for her right now, okay? Say, he's looking for you everywhere. He can't find you. Let me see the princess one. That's the princess ones. It's a size large. Disney princess, Disney store. Oh, oh that's the back head on that one. Princess one. Why, you want that? I thought you were into like the, the evil people. You're not into like the princesses. What are you doing? You're into like Corella Deville. What are, you, what are you doing? Okay, pass. Yeah, that's it. What are you doing? You're not into those type of people. Trisha, what are you? You sure as hell weren't trying to buy that for yourself, were you? Looking for the kiddo? Okay, I got you. Okay, that makes sense. For you, you definitely need to be buying a, uh, buying the villain one. Pass on the Disney, uh, I don't really pick up too many Disney. Disney store stuff is like super oversaturated when it comes to list on eBay. You're looking for the Disney Spirit jersey ones. Those are the ones that you're looking for. Disney Spirit, I think. Only by the left side. Yeah, that one. She likes Dink. Okay, I got you. She's buying for somebody else, people. She scared me for a second. I thought she like, she, she's turning a new leaf or something. I don't know what's happening. I thought Trisha was like, she's like, you know, no more cursing. Remember in, the, remember in the beginning of the year, I remember that video that buried, <laughs> that buried made. <laughs> that was your princess stage. You had a princess stage for like a day and a half and then you like switched it up. You went right back. Back to the Trisha we know and love. <laughs> well, at least we scooped the North Face out of here. That was pretty good. Um, she definitely did go through the jackets. She probably hasn't made it this way because the women's section is actually like three times as big as the men's. So, is it Betsy Johnson? I look up comps on those before and they didn't look like they did very well, so I'm not going back. You can't, you can't, you can't convince me. Juicy Couture. Sometimes those can be good, I think. Well, I need like a North Face or a Patagucci in here. There's the North Face and Patagucci's. You don't want that smoke? Yeah, I don't want that smoke. You definitely don't. Because you're not wearing the princess stuff. Remember that. 
If you're wearing the princess stuff, I'd take the smoke all day. Kayla, where are you? I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to find her. Kayla, where are you, Kayla? Are you here? Kayla. I'm trying. I can't find her. I'll find her eventually. What's Pat, uh, Patagucci is Patagonia, but we call it Patagucci. That's, that's what the pros call it. There's a song called Patagucci. You got to listen to it. Soft surroundings denim shirt. There's a couple denim pieces. shirts. She said she's by the shirts. Oh, I see her. Actually, the racks here are just tall enough so I can still see her dome. <laughs> I know. Everybody's telling me. We can sign I off. Saw you Sign up. Yeah, I just hit the jacket. You didn't. You didn't hit the jacket to sweater shit, did you? I did. Oh, you did. You didn't. Did you hit all the jackets? I did do one aisle of jackets because there's a lot of people. Yeah, that would be the aisle. Okay. But I couldn't keep remembering which tags were. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to remember. All right, everybody. We're to see K Way. Um, being that my name is Kimberly Way. Wow, her name is Kimberly Way. <laughs> all right, everybody. We're gonna sign off. I'm gonna, um, we're gonna go through everything and then we'll, we probably won't go to another thrift store today. We'll probably do one tomorrow morning. So, um, yeah, be sure to check us out then. This might be uploaded tonight. And if it's not, then it'll be up whenever we get home. So, peace.